In this video, I will discuss what software maintenance is, why it is important, and what are its four types. Software maintenance is a process of adding, changing, updating, and removing a feature of software after its launch to meet customer needs. As long as the software is in use, developers must continually correct and improve it to stay competitive and relevant. In essence, software development is ongoing and maintenance is crucial for the software's longevity. Software maintenance is important for several reasons. First, cost savings. Maintaining existing software is more cost-effective than developing new software, which requires significant effort in coding, licensing, marketing, and more. Second, adapting to technological changes. As technology evolves rapidly, software must keep up with the market changes and demands to remain useful and relevant. Third, enhancements. Updating software to meet new user requirements or changes outside the organization. And fourth, preventing failures, reducing or avoiding future system functionality failures. Proper monitoring and maintenance are essential to achieving these goals. The four types of software maintenance are corrective maintenance, adaptive maintenance, perfective maintenance, and preventive maintenance. Each type serves different purposes and a software may require one, several, or all of these maintenance types throughout its life cycle. Let's look closely at each type, beginning with corrective maintenance. Corrective maintenance is necessary when issues arise in software. This maintenance involves removing errors that may have occurred due to faulty design or incorrect assumptions. It focuses on fixing errors and faults in the operational system that can impact various parts of the software. Defects may stem from errors in software design, logic, and coding known as residual errors, which prevent the software from meeting its specifications. These errors can significantly affect the software's functionality and must be addressed promptly. Corrective maintenance is typically initiated by user-reported bug reports. Corrective maintenance begins with identifying errors and ends with their correction in an operational system. The best approach to corrective maintenance is a scaled-down version of the software development life cycle, involving investigation, analysis, design, and testing before system implementation. During corrective maintenance, any new updates are first checked in a test environment before being applied to the operational system. Some examples under this type are errors generated by the system during authentication of an already verified employee program errors resulting in incorrect output. Let us check the second type, which is known as adaptive maintenance. Adaptive maintenance involves updating your software to accommodate changing technologies and policies. It includes implementing changes in one part of the system due to changes in another part. Adaptive maintenance happens for two primary reasons. First, environmental changes. Modifying the software to adapt to changes in the environment such as new hardware, operating systems, or cloud storage. This is to ensure the software meets new requirements and continues to run smoothly. Second, organizational changes. Modifying program functions to meet new organizational requirements which can include changes in organizational procedures, changes in organizational objectives, goals, policies, or rules, changes in forms, changes in the information needs of managers, and changes in system controls and security needs. As users interact with the software, they may notice things developers did not include or suggest new features they would like to see. These suggestions can lead to future projects or enhancements. This leads us to the next type of maintenance called perfective maintenance. Perfective maintenance involves implementing new or changed user requirements. It includes adding new features, modifying existing programs to improve performance, and removing irrelevant or ineffective features. This can be done even without faults being identified. Such maintenance enhances the functionality, reliability, efficiency, and operability of the system to meet users' changing needs. This type of maintenance responds to users' additional needs which may arise from changes within or outside the organization. If not addressed, these changes can render the information system ineffective and inefficient. Here are some examples of internal changes. First, converting a command line system to a graphical user interface. 
This could be a response to a user requirement for a more intuitive and user-friendly interface. Second, upgrading a wireless network. This upgrade responds to user needs for better connectivity and efficiency. Third, adding voice-based search features to the system. This capability addresses user requests for more convenient and modern interaction methods. On the other hand, here are some examples of external changes. Changes in government policies or laws. For instance, a policy to adopt a single Asian currency would require significant software updates for banks in member countries. This ensures the system remains functional and compliant with external regulations. Second, economic and competitive conditions, such as a company needing to implement e-commerce capabilities to stay competitive in the market. This change is driven by external economic factors and enhances the system's functionality and relevance. Third, new technology. For example, a company updates its e-commerce platform to incorporate progressive web apps. This enhancement makes the platform faster, more responsive, and capable of providing offline functionality, thus improving the user experience. The last type of software maintenance that we will study is called preventive maintenance. It involves proactive steps to prevent potential issues and extend the system's lifespan. Preventive software maintenance addresses minor issues that may seem insignificant at the time but could become significant problems later. These are called latent faults, which need to be detected and corrected to prevent them from becoming effective faults. Preventive maintenance is performed for several reasons. First, to avoid or reduce future failures or faults. Second, to prevent software deterioration as it adapts and changes. Third, to ensure the software continues to function as desired for as long as possible. And fourth, to reduce the risks associated with long-term software operation, making it more stable, understandable, and maintainable. Preventive maintenance is limited to the maintenance organization only, with no external requests involved. It tends to reduce software complexity, thereby improving program understandability and increasing software maintainability. Examples include software updates, applying updates to fix known vulnerabilities, preventing security breaches, and ensuring compatibility with other updated systems and technologies. Second, documentation updates, keeping documentation current with system configurations and changes to prevent misconfigurations during enhancements. Security audits. Conducting regular security audits to identify and mitigate potential vulnerabilities addressing weak points in the system's security before exploits occur. Code restructuring. Regularly improving the structure of existing code without changing its external behavior to make it easier to maintain and less prone to bugs. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about software maintenance. If you find this helpful, please like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time.